In this episode, I'll tell you how to publish your website without spending a single penny. You made your website and now you want to publish it online, but you cannot afford a web hosting. Don't be disappointed, host your website for free. Many web hosting companies offer free hosting as a startup service. If you are learning web designing or you currently don't have the budget to host your website, free hosting can be a great option for you. Let me show you how to get one. Which hosting to choose? It is really important to choose a reliable hosting that will not go out of business suddenly and you end up losing your website. Also it guarantees that your website will stay online for most of the time, also known as the uptime. The most popular free web hosting that I recommend is x10hosting.com. It has been offering free hosting for a long time. You also get unlimited space and no ads on your website. Another free web hosting is 000webhost.com. It is also famous for providing free hosting with great features and no ads. Are domain names free? Unfortunately, domain names like .com, .net, .org, etc. are not available for free and require an additional annual fee for registration. But there is a cool alternative to that, a domain like subdomain. Yes, some companies offer a free subdomain whose domain part is very short and makes it resemble to popular domain names. It doesn't look a, like a great domain name but still keeps your website address short to memorize. If you want to check out more good options for a free domain, check out uni.me. They also offer a variety of short and attractive domain names to choose from. Finally, how to publish your website. So you got a free domain and also registered a free hosting account. Now you need to upload your website to the hosting server. This can be done by any of the following methods. Number one is a file manager. It is an easy method to upload and update your website from the browser itself. The second way is called the FTP or file transfer protocol, which requires a separate software to upload your website. If you are new to these concepts, I would recommend you to go with the file manager since it's easy to understand and begin with. Once you upload the file successfully, you now have your website on the web. Free hosting is a great way to get started with the web. If you choose a reliable free hosting, your website will last as long as you want. But bigger and complex websites will need more features to keep running efficiently and hence a free hosting would not be recommended in that case. In later episodes, I will talk about interesting topics like web designing, web development, how to make your website popular and much more. If you have any questions regarding this episode, you can post a comment below or send me an email on info at the red of orstudio.com and I will be really happy to answer. If you like this episode and want to see more, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.